Hi Super Funners, today you get to see what is in one of my three boxes of dinosaurs. Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic dinosaur and could live and hunt on land and in the water. I love his face. The teeth are really nice. Tyrannosaurus, commonly known as the king of the dinosaurs. This is a lovely colour, this model. Argentinosaurus was a very large land animal. It could grow to 130 feet long. Spinosaurus had a six foot long skull and he had raised nostrils and could breathe when partly submerged in the water, a bit like a crocodile. Ah, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was an aggressive carnivore and it has a double crested head and very sharp claws on its arms and legs. Great colours. Ah, this is a Jurassic World Pteranodon. Pteranodon mostly ate fish and of course was a flying reptile, not a dinosaur. I've added a bit more paint to that one to make it a bit brighter. Oh, you can see inside it there. Baby T-Rex hatchling inside its egg. T-Rex. Typical length for a Tyrannosaurus could be up to 42 feet long. Another T-Rex. T-Rex had powerful hind legs, a large skull and a thick tail to help with balancing. Ah, a juvenile T-Rex. And another. That's really nice markings. More babies, juvenile triceratops and brachiosaurus. Ah, this pteranodon had a large crest on its head and a very short tail. This is Monolophosaurus, a medium sized dinosaur. It had a long bony ridge running from its nose to the top of its head. Pteranodon may have hunted like a modern day pelican, skipping the fish up out of the water with its very sharp beak. Ah, this is a lovely T-Rex. The small forearms were quite powerful and were used for grasping prey. And you can see some sharp claws there as well. Cacarodontosaurus was a fearsome carnivore with 8 inch teeth that could slash and rip into flesh. This dinosaur is one of my favourites. Very nice detail. Dinosuchus could grow up to 35 feet long and could live on land or in the water. It would often take its prey by surprise 
and drag it into the water and drown it. Aunt Hungera had a long crested beak with an unusual bulbous end shape. It was a fish eater. Barry Onyx was a meat and fish eater. It would use its big long crocodile shaped jaws and wade out into the water to catch fish. Dinochiris had long arms with three long fingers on each hand. Aha! Jurassic World Velociraptors! This is Echo! So the arms move. The jaw stays in one place, it can't move. There's some leg movement there. Very nice. These dinosaurs do need help to stand up though. You can see I've painted its tongue. Aha! Here's Charlie! Again with a painted tongue. Beautiful green colour and look at that eye. Movable arms and the legs don't move on this one. And a curved around tail. Next we have Blue. Have a look at that. Oh! That's a bit noisy. Yes, the legs move and the arms move. Let's see what else it does. Yes, I've got it working. And I'll flip it around and let's see what happens. when I pull on the arm. That could get a bit annoying. And here is Delta. Again I've painted her tongue. Yes, long livable arms. Legs aren't moving. And her jaw doesn't move either. Again, she does need help to stand up. Another Argentinosaurus. Ah, oh, this is the gyrosphere from Jurassic World. The little man sits in there. And when you press that button, you can see the two hatches open. You can shoot that. Let's see if we can get blue. Gotcha! So there's wheels on the bottom so it can move along and that's the button you press. Oh, well done! Ah, oh, baby Stegosaurus. Oh, this is a new T-Rex for me. T-Rex would use its deadly bite force to capture prey. Stegosaurus. The plates on its back could grow up to two feet by two feet in size. You can see the two rows there. Parasaur Olophus. The funny shaped horn on its head may have been used for making a sound. It's an unusual shaped head, isn't it? Gastonis. That's a sharp beak. 
this is a really nice paint job. I like the wings, how they're tipped. Ah, baby Parasaurolophus. Uh-oh. <laughs> And here's a bit bigger bird, Kalenkin, a giant flightless bird. May have used its beak to help kill prey. And you can see claws on the end of the wings there. Pentaceratops had five horns, three true horns and two false horns. They were used to anchor the jaw. It had a beak-like mouth. Ah, Giganotosaurus. Slightly larger than T-Rex. Its massive skull was over five feet long. Carnotaurus, very small arms. It used its horns in battle and the horns also helped protect the eyes. This is a lovely model. It has a lo lovely soft rubbery feel to it. It's also a really nice color. It was a fierce and aggressive predator. Average length could be 30 feet long. This is a really lovely model. You can see all the back spikes there and a lovely paint job. Ankylosaurus, much like a prehistoric tank. A predator would have to flip it onto its back to attack its unprotected underbelly. Stegosaurus, another tank-like creature, could grow up to 30 feet long. Another Pteranodon, a very large wingspan, up to 10 meters wide. They also had no teeth. T-Rex. Its massive teeth were designed to crush bones and penetrate armour. Dimetrodon. It's not a dinosaur. It's actually a mammal-like reptile. That's a beautiful sail on it. A lovely paint job as well. And finally Spinosaurus. The spines on its back grow up to five feet long. This is a lovely model. Well that's all for now. This box is empty. Two more to go. We just saw 44 dinosaurs and reptiles and one gyrosphere. Thank you for watching my video. Stay on for lots more dinosaur videos right here on Super Fun Reviews. See you again soon. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.